Hello and welcome back to NSUSpartans.com. Ross Gordon joined by Miguel Davis. In the middle, in between us two, is Malcolm Hawkins tonight. He's our Spartan partner's post-game play of the game. 20 points, 4 rebounds, 2 steals, 2 assists tonight. And only one turnover, which is probably even more important for the Spartans, who only turned the ball over 11 times tonight. Huge win and a, a great game for Norfolk State, who hasn't beaten Delaware State in five tries. The Spartans won 74-56. Miguel, uh, from the start of the second half, the Spartans really took over the ball game. We, we were up by six at halftime, but the second half, we really just started to put Delaware State away. You're absolutely right, Ross. Um, the Spartans just do what they've been doing for the last couple of games, and the good thing about it is they already had the spread, like you said, the, the lead going into halftime. Coming out of halftime, they just picked it up more, and uh, we know Delaware State is a little stingy on uh, the defense side of the ball. They don't like their opponents scoring over 60, but um, Norfolk State won convincingly tonight, Ross. One huge thing for the Spartans is we've struggled as the season has gone along to put teams away, and tonight we, we really did that. We really put them away. Definitely, and Delaware State likes to score a lot of their points. They're about, what, 49, almost 50 percent uh, inside the three-point range, but Norfolk State took the fight right to them down low, didn't shy away from the contact, and they came up big down low. Hawk, 8 of 16 tonight, 2 of 3 from downtown, 2 of 3 from the free throw line, 20 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 steals. You're a Spartan partner's post-game play of the game. Uh, you've been doing this a, a little bit more here as the season has gone along. Struggled up in Baltimore a little bit. Didn't get your game going. Uh, really got your game going tonight here. Uh, yes. Uh, first, uh, uh, thank you for that. Um, but, yeah, we um, we just came out, just uh, tried to play defense, put pressure on them, and we just continued that throughout the game. And, and Malcolm, like I said, the, the first half you guys came out, you didn't really give them a chance to even uh, be in the game. They were in the game. It was close. But what, what, what was your mindset coming out here? Did you guys want to just close them away and uh, think you had to score a lot of points on offense, knowing how they like to keep that score minimal on that offensive side of the ball for opponents? Uh, we just kept attacking, just stay aggressive. You know, we just uh, lately, you know, we, we'll get the lead and let, let opponents come back. We, uh, we, we try to stop stop that. You know, uh, Delaware State, we haven't beat them in a long time. So we took we came out and took this game serious. Again, one of the huge things after a win like this is the next game. And that could be sort of like a trap a trap game for for this team. How are you guys taking this win? Do you Are you excited that you haven't beaten them in a while and you got that win, and especially convincingly? Or are you taking this game as just another game going into Monday night? Um, we, uh, our motto is to take one game at a time. Um, going into Monday, we're going to treat it the same way we did today. Um, UMES, they have uh, good players that you know, play hard, so we have to bring it just like we brought it tonight. And, and just like I said, the down low play, um, seeing, seeing today you guys didn't shy away from it at all, was that part of your strategy coming in? Because like I said, Delaware State, they like to play down low. Mm -hmm. um, kind of was anticipating maybe you guys shooting a lot of jump shots, but you guys just played your game, and like you just said, you just take every game and uh, play everybody that's on the list. So did you take it today like, hey, we're just going to do what we do, or did you kind of try to strategize and bring the fight to them today? Um, yeah, uh, uh, definitely. Uh, every game is different. You know, every team is different. So we just we just stay, stay on attack mode. Uh, sometimes we relax, and that's, that's why uh, uh, teams often come back on us, but we just kept attacking. We hit, we hit some nice shots. Uh, we tried to use our length down low um, on the post ups, and we just kept attacking. Our uh, Spartan Optima defensive player of the game is Brandon Good. Another solid ball game for him 17 points, 11 mm -hmm. boards. He, he had two blocks, and he also had a steal. And I think one thing that really has lifted the Spartans over the last two games has been his defensive his defensive presence inside leading to easy opportunities on the offensive side. Yes, definitely. Uh, Brandon is seven feet tall. We tell him all the time, use your length, use your length. Uh, when, you, when, he, when he uses his length, he helps us out a lot on defense, you know, block shots, off, uh, defensive rebounds, and he, he just takes up a lot of space, and we, we tell him to use his length a lot. And uh, he did it a good job tonight. Uh, three players in double figures, including Rob Johnson. I think his key. I think he hit a couple of key baskets in the second half Definitely. to really keep the to keep the pressure on Delaware State. He went to the free throw line two or, two or three times off inbounds, and he just wore Delaware State out. And we did a good job of finding him. And I think this is one thing that you look at in a team like us when we get going. We do a good job this year of finding a hot man. Yes, definitely. Uh Coach always tell us, he say, uh, sometimes we a little, we come too unselfish sometimes, and he want us to take take our take the first shot, not the second shot sometimes. And Rob, he uh, I think he went four for four in the second half. He definitely hit, came, uh, stepped up and hit big shots for us in the second half. 
for the Spartans, again, it's Malcolm Hawkins. He's our post-game player of the game. 20 points, four rebounds, two assists, two steals. Congratulations to the Spartans for a 74-56 victory on to Monday night, one game at a time, and that next game will be Maryland Eastern Shore. From Miguel Davis and Malcolm Hawkins, I'm Ross Gordon. We'll see you on Monday night as the Spartans welcome in the University of Maryland Eastern Shore. You're watching NSUSpartans.com.